Okay, so again, this is just the my YouTube, just kind of just for myself, just to see the progression in my tank. Um, yeah, so if you can compare this video to the video I posted three months ago, there's a complete change in the aquascape, the number of corals I have, and the fish. So, first thing I want to get to is the fish. So, previously I had, I know I had a yellow tank, but I don't know if that was in the video. And then I had two um, platinum clownfish, and then I think I had a, one other fish. Oh, so I think I might have some chromuses, I forgot. But anyway, um, a lot has changed. So now I ended up selling all those fish. I ended up going with no fish for about a month. And then I ended up quarantining uh, Lawnmower Blenny, which is somewhere you'll see along throughout this video. And he's great. He's actually by the frag rack. I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the video. And then also Melanaris Rass, which as of right now, I do plan on catching in the weeks, in a few weeks or so, because this guy kicks up scent everywhere. Personally, I recommend you do not get a melanaris ras they will kick up sand yes they're beautiful fish their coloration is amazing but if you do plan on keeping corals especially on the sand bed as you see i have elegance corals on there on the bottom left and i have a scolding on the right this thing just kicks up sand into their mouth irritates the corals it's just and then also kicks up sand it gets the whole tank a little dusty like how it is a bit right now and then when they sleep they dig in again and it creates even more dust sandstorm so yeah i would not advise you to keep these even though they are reef saver caution they don't they don't eat your corals but i wouldn't rec i wouldn't recommend it in my opinion i haven't had the best luck with them but yeah they are great fish in coloration wise next i want to get a coral so um right off the bat you'll see on the right side i have a whole euphelia garden going on and pull this a little closer all right so on the right here we got my whole euphelia garden i've got a bicolor hammer. I've got a whole bunch of hammers going on in the back. And then over here I have my frog spawn. And that's my whole kind of euphelia garden. Here's my other kind of guy down here. I have a crab. A porcelain crab. An enemy crab. And then we go over to the left side of my tank. And we have my SPS. So here I have my Monty Port, which has grown increasingly fast. Like crazy, crazy fast. And then... I also have a Digitata and some sort of Acropore in the back, which is actually doing really well. And then we go down here, we have some GSP and Xenia. They have taken over this whole side of the tank. Like, it's grown insane, especially the Xenia. It's grown all over the rock. If we go over here, you can see how it's grown all the way onto that other piece of rock somehow. It's kind of hard to pick it up just because the blues, and I do not have like a special lens. My Polylab, I know they provide lenses. We go down here, and I do have this torch, which I do plan on selling. Some A-can down there. My beautiful elegance I just picked up for $60. And then this... Oh, sorry. I don't know if you can hear outside. It's really annoying. But, um... <laughs> sorry. Uh, here's a mushroom. It's actually not GSP. It is hairy mushrooms all covered on this rock. Here are some zoas. And then... I'm, I'm trying to grow some GSP over here just to fill in that dead spot. Hopefully there's progression. Here is my bubble coral I picked up for $30. And then we go over here to this, sorry, the melon arts. That's kind of the way as you can see in the coloration, but this scully is amazing for the price I got it. It's not one of those ble bleeding apples or one of those war paint something. Um, now this guy I got for $50. It's primarily red with some purple in it. Um, but yeah, so here we're gonna go over to my frag rack, which is something pretty cool. So first I have a Japanese weeping willow coral. It's not fully extended because it just finished the shedding. But we go over here and we see, I don't know if it'll focus. I was just fragged it today. Let me try zooming in. Okay, there. You see these really like just pure yellow zoas. No idea what they are. If you know what they are, ID them please down low. They're literally straight yellow. And then that's pretty much what I got on the frag rack. And here we go back to talking real quick just because I want to fill up myself with what I'm doing with my take. So, spring is coming up. So, you know, after spring, you got summer. So, I have to start preparing for temperature fluctuations and everything. So, you know, obviously, vacation, I'll be going to Cabo in a few weeks. And so, that's going to be a big thing for me just because I need to know. I actually don't know where I'm going. Maybe in a month or so. 
But um, whenever I'm going to be gone, this thing is going to be alone for, for about a week. And in the time being, it's going to be, you know, has to kind of handle itself. So ATO wise, the reservoir is a 10 gallon. So I might have someone stop by and fill it up. But that's that. And then everything else, like light hours, I will change. Right now I'm running um, two AI primes. As you, you can kind of see here, let me lift it up real quick. Here's my two AI primes. They actually do really well. I bought them for 180 each. My friend Kevin had hooked me up. And then, so that's kind of what's going on in this tank right now with corals, like just livestock in general. Um, filtration wise, I mean, it's just the all in one tank. It's not the reefer, it's the E170. So it's an all in one with a built in protein skimmer, the rack where you put all your mechanical filtration and it has some biological filtration on the left side and then a pump so my thing for what I've got in the back is I've got a backup heater on the left side which is 300 watt in case the main one shuts down yet yeah, also down here I have my chiller and that is one out of ten horsepower which is gonna just help support me over the summer and spring when it starts heating up so I do like to keep my windows open just to maintain the level of pH all right so that's kind of what's going on here I don't want this video to be too long I'm gonna try to keep it under 10 minutes but um you know I talk a little fast but anyway um so that's kind of what's going on in this tank it's doing well um, my neighbor actually hooked me up with some Hannah checkers which I will be testing out soon <laughs> definitely soon and then actually over here we're gonna go over to my QT setup real quick just because it's really messy and I do only have the white lights on just because I don't want to stress out this guy too much it looks ugly I know, but again, it's not my display tank. Of course, he just went hiding. But um, I just want to get so tell you what's going on. So, a buddy of mine hooked me up big time, gave me this yellow tank for free. And here it comes out. But I did notice he had some ick or some sort of spots on him. I'm hoping and praying it's not velvet. If it is, I'm kind of I'll be bummed. But I am treating with right here. Um, Coopermine, and then I do have some Prazi Pro in here as well. So, as what's in here is just a whole bunch of biological media, a heater. I actually have a protein skim on the right. It's doing pretty well. It's one of those coral life. I don't know. It's not bad just because I have a really strong pump on it. The the one that comes with sucks. But anyway, this is the QT. I plan on keeping it for about a few weeks. Hopefully four, no more. I do want to be a little longer with this just because he is a tank and he is not at 100%. He is eating, which is good, but that is my QT setup. So that kind of wraps it up. Here is my tank. It is 45 gallons, Red Sea E170. It is stocked as of right now with a Melanaris Ras, Lawnmower Blenny, and a whole bunch of corals, primarily softies and primarily LPS. A few SPS, but that's slowly going to be a ongoing like, i guess gradual process but um yeah thanks for watching hopefully me as myself i'm checking this out and hopefully seeing progression as what my tank looks like this is 2019 april 7th yeah and yeah thanks for watching